Hello everybody, this is Jason Carr, and today I am super excited because today we release LaunchBox and BigBox 6.0. Uh, now we have added four new views to BigBox for 6.0, as well as a couple other cool new features that I think you're really going to like. Um, the, what you're looking at here first is a hyperspin-like wheel that we've added in BigBox 6.0. Now this is really, really nice and smooth, it goes nice and quick. So you can get to your, your particular platform nice and easy and, and fast. And we developed this in a live development stream with the community. To be honest, I never intended um, that day when I started developing that day to build a Hyperspin Clear Logo wheel. But let me tell you, I love this. I love what we've been able to do here. And this idea came from the community in our live development streams. Um, and man, all four of these views we've built in those live development streams, taking in feedback from the community uh, as far as what uh, we should build, how we should build it, how everything should look, and all that stuff. And I am really, really proud and really, really pleased at what we've come up with here. Uh, like I said, there's four new views. This is just one of them. And uh, we're going to go through all the new views in this video as well as some of the new features. So let's start off and go into Nintendo Entertainment System. And this is just one of the three new views we have for the games list. Uh, so right here, we have your cover flow on the bottom and your clear logo and your game details and your video on top. Really happy with how this view came out. And this is the last view we built. We built it just a, just a, a couple days ago, actually, um, with the community and uh, took in community suggestions, and I think this is one of my favorite new views. So you have uh, the cover flow moves nice and quick. You can jump around easily. If you just press down, you get an alphabet here, and you can jump to particular letters of the alphabet nice and quick and easy. Um, go up and then browse around directly in the box art. So that is the first of the three new views for the games list. Let's move on. The next view here is the old traditional view that we had in 5.10 and earlier versions of Big Box. I like this view, but uh, it is it is convenient, but it's uh, certainly not as attractive as some of the new views that we've added here. So we'll move on to the next view. We did add a hotkey so that you can easily switch views, so that's what I'm doing right now, and we can get into that in a second so I can show you how to do that. Um, here we have the clear logo uh, wheel view, just like Hyperspin, that we've added. Uh, as well. And again, this this was um, also an idea from the community. This was requested shortly after I added the platform's clear logo wheel. Um, we had lots of people uh, requesting this view as well. And I think it turned out very well. It doesn't slow down with super big lists. It's nice and quick and smooth. Uh, and if you go right or left, you can jump to different letters of the alphabet. And if you go up and down, it scrolls the wheel. So nice and simple works very well. That's the second of the three views we've added. And then the third is a nice, clean, um, full screen cover flow view here. Um, and the same thing here, we have the, the ability to go down and jump to particular letters of the alphabet in the same way. So very convenient, definitely a million times easier to navigate than previous versions of, of Big Box. Um, very pretty as well. So I'm very pleased with these new views. I'm just going to go back and show this off a little bit more here. We'll go into, let's say, Nintendo 64. Um, let's go into my, I think this is my favorite view here. And just take a look at the, at the graphics a little bit more here. But you know, one other thing I'm going to do before we get into some of the new options in Big Box, I'm going to go down and show something else off. Now, a lot of people don't know it, but if you go into options, um, and go into all these various settings here. For example, we're going to go into uh, filters, no, games details. And you, you'll notice on the bottom down here, we have these two different transitions. We have game details transition and ga cover flow game details transition, so they're separate. And I'm going to change the cover flow game details transition into something more interesting, like explosion. Now this gets a little crazy because we've got lots of really awesome transitions. But if we go into, let's take a look at, uh, let's just go into arcade this time. 
if we switch to a different game, you'll see we have a, a neat little explosion animation here instead of the sliding animation that we previously had. And this is super, super cool because we have a bunch of different trans transition settings all throughout Big Box. And you can tweak pretty much any animation anywhere in Big Box for the transitions. And you can do some really cool stuff and it really helps to customize Big Box for you. Uh, let's let's play around one more time and let's go into options and then uh, I'm gonna go into filters images and change the background transition. Let's do something crazy for a background transition. Let's do rotate horizontal box. And then if we go back out to our view here, anytime we go to a new background, you'll see the background rotates. So we have all kinds of really neat options that are available for the animations in Big Box. And you'll see how we have the arcade box up top that's spinning. We have the game details up top and we have the, the, box, the boxes below for the favorites and the recent. All those separate animations can be tweaked to be a whole bunch of different options. If we take a look at some of those options um, for the transitions, we have rotate, all kinds of rotate options. We have sequential, which means it'll go from one transition to the next. We have sliding transitions. We have a door transition. We have an explosion transition, fade, no transition, and random, which will randomize, randomly do all of them. Um, so it's really, really fun to play with this stuff. Uh, and it really, it really makes it easy to uh, create an interesting environment here um, that's really pretty to use and you can make it your own with all these different transitions. So I wanted to show that off because I'm not sure that, that very many people were aware of that and I think that's a really cool feature of Big Box. So now into some of the new settings that we've got for uh, Big Box 6.0. We've added a new locking mechanism and the reason why we chose to add that is because people were having issues where family members or kids or guests were coming over and using their arcade cabinets and of course messing up their libraries because they um, people would get in and, and do something stupid like favorite a game that shouldn't be favorited or uh, who knows what, what, what they might do but or, or tweak all the options etc but what this locking mechanism allows you to do of course is lock down big box so nothing can be changed and everything is read only and, it, and if you want you can even prevent people from exiting big box so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, go click on lock here and it says set a pin to lock big box. So we'll type in just a simple pin one, two, three, four, and then go to done. And it'll tell us to repeat the pin one, two, three, four. And then it says your pin has been set. Big box will now start up in locked mode. So from here on out, nobody will be able to change anything. You'll notice options is missing here. It's not here anymore. And if you go into your games, you won't be able to favorite either. So let's go into arcade uh, and go into 1942. And you'll notice there's no option to favorite here like there usually is. Uh, so everything's been locked down, uh, which is really great for guests and kids um, and your family. And then of course, when you wanna unlock it because you wanna change settings, you can just go to unlock and enter your pin and click done and you are you have full access again. Now in options, under security, we have options to set the pin, clear the pin, and an option to turn off allow exiting while locked. So this way, if we, if we turn this off, then you won't be able to exit uh, when Big Box is locked, which is, is great as well, as well if you want to keep people away from the Windows desktop. So that is that. Uh, some other new features that we've added in Big Box 6.0, we have this image cache option here which allows you to inv individually reset the cache items for the various types of images in big box and uh, we added that specifically because if you if you replace uh, your images in your library in launchbox for for example your platform images uh, in the wheel then you're going to need to reflect re refresh them here because we cache all that stuff to make sure everything is as quick as possible um, so that's important to know if you're replacing your images you may need to get in here into the image cache and refresh some things. So that is that. We also have a couple new options under general for cover flow image quality and cover flow reflection opacity. And these items, um, the cover flow image quality obviously will let you 
uh, reduce the image quality for your cover flow in order to, to increase performance. On most high-end systems, you're not going to have a problem, and you can leave that on highest. And then, of course, you have reflection opacity, which just helps to make the reflection in cover flow either less prominent or more prominent, um, and really tweak it to your own personal taste. So that is that. And then finally, really, I think that's it for the options. Um, I will show you uh, down in the games list. We do have the different views listed here, cover flow with details, text list with details, vertical clear logo wheel, and full screen cover flow for the four different options for the games list view. Now, when we set up a hotkey, you can switch between them automatically. You don't have to get into the options. Uh, in the filters list as well, we have the same thing. We have the two views, the vertical clear logo wheel and the text list with details from the previous version of Big Box. Now, if we go down uh, to keyboard mappings, this is where we, we map all our keys. And under switch view, switch view does not come mapped by default. Uh, so you'll need to set that to whatever key on your keyboard you want to, uh, to use to switch views. Uh, or into your, under your controller buttons, you have the same option here. You can set a controller button to do the same thing. And that is about it uh, for the new features in Big Box 6.0. Like I said, I am so pleased with the direction we've been going. Um, it feels like, to me, the more we involve the community in the development process, in every single process that is LaunchBox and Big Box, the better a product we end up with. The more heads we put together, the more feedback we get, the better the end product is. Uh, and every time I turn around and open up a new way to get community feedback, everything gets better. Uh, really been enjoying the LaunchBox live, uh, live streams, the development live streams that we've been doing. Um, I didn't expect to because I'm not the kind of guy that really enjoys a bunch of social interaction or meeting a bunch of new people. But man, it's been so productive. It's been so fun. Uh, we've had almost nothing but positive feedback really loving the the awesome feedback that we've been getting from the hyperspin community as well uh, regarding these changes that we've made uh, it seems like the community is really really in support of us and i really appreciate that because we don't have to compete with hyperspin i really just want to push things forward and uh, and get people happy with what we're doing and improve the state of emulation and gaming uh, front ends and all that stuff so been really, really happy with, with the way everything is going. I, I appreciate all the support we've been getting. Uh, we're growing tremendously. Uh, so I'm stoked, guys. I am so happy to be here doing this for you guys. Uh, so happy that you all are here helping me do this stuff because I could not have been doing any of this stuff without the community's help. Um, I think I've, I mentioned in previous videos that none of this stuff uh, would have ever been done if I hadn't been taking feedback from the community. So thank you to everyone. Thank you um, for everybody who helped with the, with, with the contributions, the feedback, uh, the beta testing, and everything else for LaunchBox and BigBox 6.0. And I am so happy to finally get this out, out here to you guys. Uh, one more quick word before I go. The, the most exciting thing upcoming, as far as I'm concerned, for BigBox is we plan to very shortly, hopefully before 6.1 even, add the option, because I don't think it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, it's it's going to be relatively easy, I think, but we are going to add the option to allow the community to come up with their own custom views and share them with the rest of the community. So that is very exciting. That's what's coming up soon. We, we do have some, some more work uh, to do integrating LaunchBox with the LaunchBox Games database. So that is the immediate next thing, but I'm hoping to do that and add custom views for LaunchBox and Big Box 6.1 as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, I'm loving this. I'm loving the community. I'm loving all the development stuff. I'm loving all the progress that we've been able to do in the last few weeks. And uh, I really appreciate it. And you guys take it easy, and I will talk to you soon.